Hello guys and welcome to another video all about Unity Ads with Mediation. Now this is another video in the series of troubleshooting issues you're having within as a backlash of the video that I made. If you haven't seen it you are looking to have Unity Ads implemented into your Unity game, I've put a link in the description for you to head on over to that one. This video is made in response to a comment made by Waffle Chicken. Now Waffle Chicken, if you are watching this, thank you very much for liking the video. And yeah, hopefully this resolves your issue. Now, to go over the issue that Wolf Chicken is having, when he created his project, the Unity dashboard, for whatever reason, did not add on the banner ads uh, into his ad sources. Now, he has asked why. Unfortunately, I do not have a reason for you as to why I haven't come across it. However, though, this video is going to be showing you how to uh, either import them in, into your existing project or I'll show you how to create a different, a different project without having to change any of your game whatsoever. It's just going to be the app profile that, that it sits with. So, without further ado, let's dive into the code. Right then, so diving into our projects now. Now, the issue that is at hand is when we go to our code generator currently the user is not getting the banner uh, the banner ad sources which we've got here and here now this is down to the ad sources they're not being these particular banner ones here now to get to the ad units just to very quickly demonstrate to you if you go to your project Make sure you've got selected the correct project, so the mediation project V1 in our case. Uh, head on down to monetization and then click on add units. Now, in this case, banner ads. Now, if you are missing these, it's not the end of the world. All you need to do is click on add, uh, add unit. And then down here, click banner. If banner is not shown here, then skip to the next chapter because I'll show you uh, what to do if banner is not showing there. So, uh, however, though providing banner is showing there, what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to call this one Android uh, Banner. Make sure you select the correct platform. Click Create on that one, and then click on Add Unit ID, and then again under Banner. We're going to call this one iOS banner. Platform is going to be iOS create. Perfect. So now these ad sources are done. What we're going to want to do is head on back into our Unity project where instantly it should start to come up. There we go. So we've got the Android banner and also the iOS banner. Now, if these are still not, not, not coming up here, all you need to do is just close down the code generator, reload in the code generator, and it should then be there. This does have a live feed to the ad sources. Now we're not quite done yet. What we're going to want to do is if we go back to our project, you can see just here we've got waterfall set up on the other ones. So what we're going to want to do is if we get on down to all waterfalls at the bottom here, under the mediation tab, we're then going to want to, if we go down to the product that we are, so mediation project V1. We're going to want to add the iOS banner and units. We're going to want to include an iOS banner. I'm going to save the changes there. And then if we go back to our waterfalls and go to the Android version, which is Android banner edits. Yeah. So that would now mean that we, in terms of the mediation aspect, it will actually show ads. If you don't do that step, you're going to get an error. Uh, or you just won't get any ads filled. So if you go back to your mediation uh, tab on your waterfalls, and you don't have an iOS banner ad there, 
it's not a problem at all what you're going to do is just click add new waterfall waterfall name and it's just going to be banner ios add format banner again if it's not showing there chances are you probably not even got to this point anyway because it will only show there if it gives you the option to create a banner ad in the first place so we're going to want to click banner the geo target it'll be on be on the uh, the target that you want we'll click on rest on uh, global and then you can then select from here the banner ios it should automatically select the uh, banner ios anyway um, and then yeah just just a click create uh, it's going to have an error with me solely because i've already got a banner ios set to the global aspect however though you click create create shouldn't, shouldn't create you with an error and then there we go so that is in quite simply the easiest way now when you go back to mediation project you should just be able to carry on with the video regarding getting the unity code installed uh, because if you come from the other video uh, you will probably know by this point that it doesn't work at the box it's not a case of copying and where you go you've got to make some a few modifications so if you want to see that head on over to my other video and it's all time stamped in, in the chapters anyway that's the way to do it providing when you create an ad unit, you can create an, a banner one. Now, if you've gone to create ad unit and you are missing the banner section just here, that means something's gone wrong in the actual creation of the project, the actual monetizing aspects of the project. So what I'm gonna do, um, what I suggest you do as well, is if we head on back over to monetization, We'll head on down to settings. Just double check the mediation partner just here is set to Unity Mediation. Now, if that is and you're still having the issues, then what I would suggest at this point would be to create a new project. Now, this isn't going to impact your actual app itself. If you've done some other stuff to do with the analytics stuff, it may just be, it will just be a case of moving a code over. Uh, but ultimately, it's not that big of an issue. What we're going to do is we're just going to create a new project and call this one uh, whatever we want. So we're going to call it mediation repair. Uh, just check this. Will, will the project be primarily targeted to children under 13? If it is, click yes. If it's not, then press no. Uh, create the project. Perfect. So head on over to monetization, click get started, make sure you select Unity Mediation. It's not always in the center, so make sure you do read it. And then click on next. My app is not live in the store yet. Add project. Fantastic then. So now we've finished the project setup. So this is now ready to go so let's just check make sure on the unity ad we've got the banners set up here which have already got the waterfalls all set up so at this point it should be as straightforward as that however though we've still got the project currently linked to the mediation project v1 rather than mediation repair so let's head on over to our mediation project and i will show you how to fix that now so head on over to our project settings, click on services here, we're going to unlink the current project, then we're going to use an existing project ID, we're going to select mediation repair or whatever the name of your new, your new project is, click link, it's going to ask you just to confirm. There we go. So now if we go back down to intermediation, you'll see it's still got the old game IDs. If you just, um, right, so that doesn't always update straight away. Uh, that'll probably update the next time you reload into, into the development platform. If we click open code generator though, that runs on a live, on a live connect. So you just see just there, we have the new game IDs connected anyway. So now when we click on banner ads, you can see that 
under iOS and Android, we've now got the banner ads for us to then be able to continue and create the banner ads. Now, if you skip along in, in, in the chapters, I will just make a side note, and that's these code generators do not work straight out of the box. In my last video with Unity, to, Unity with Mediation, I show you how to get this code working. It's all chaptered in the other video. So if you wanna know how to do that, head on over to my other video and you'll be able to see how to get it working out of the box. So yeah, that is, if you are missing the banner ad uh, information, these are the two ways that you can get it to work. So yeah, uh, if this video has helped you, uh, please do consider subscribing, uh, maybe even check a like if you can. I create videos uh, all to do with monetizing your Unity game. Alongside also, I'm hoping to be able to bring a dev blog on the game which I'm making and kind of the experience I've had when I released it, I had to take it out, out, out of out of public uh, domain recently. Uh, so kind of like, so if you have been around for a little, for a little bit, you've noticed the fact that I went silent for about a week. That's because I've now got my new office and I've had issues with internet and everything last kind of week, uh, whereas it's still all now resolved. My office is coming along. It's still a bit messy, as you can see just there. Um, however, though, it's nearly done. So I'll be looking at making the, the bigger content that's been requested by a few of you to go over the copper regulations, uh, kind of showing it how it actually works on the phone with the mediation aspects of it. Uh, so yeah, uh, more videos are to come. So if you are interested in following the journey of mediation and kind of monetizing your Unity app, please do hit that subscribe button. It means the absolute world to me. And thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.